Good morning, Hawks. Today is Wednesday, August 27th. We hope you had a great first day back. If you're interested in being in the fall drama production, auditions will be next Tuesday and Wednesday. The play is called Ten Red Kings, about a group of video game addicts who find themselves trapped in the woods. To learn more about the play and the auditions, check out the information on the table outside Mr. Warren's room in the main hallway. Color Guard is still accepting students for the 2014-2015 school year. We have a fun year ahead of flag spinning, tossing, and dancing, as well as performing at halftime for LVCP games, rallies, and artistic showcases. Build teamwork, rhythm, strength, and hand-eye coordination. Don't think you're coordinated enough? Not a problem. We will help make you a Color Guard rock star. The class is during 7th period. If you would like to change your 7th period to Color Guard, please see Miss Asbury in room 26 or Miss Gooker in her office. Get this done immediately as schedule changes are only allowed for a short time. Everybody needs a planner and that includes you. Planners are for sale for $5 in room 3. Get that planner and take control of your time. The boys soccer team continues to practice. Please see Mr. Banducci in room 6 for an updated schedule and forms. In general, the boys practice at Livermore Downs Park from 4 to 6 p.m. Also, follow the boys and girls soccer team on Twitter at LVCP Hawks. Don't forget to hashtag Go Hawks to promote athletics here at LVCP. Have you joined the Hawks Nest yet? In Hawks Nest members enjoy free entry to all LVCP home sporting events, discounted home to coming tickets, and a free winter ball ticket, a Hawks Nest t-shirt with your class year on the back, and free giveaways throughout the year. Don't be left out. Pick up an order form in the front office and turn it into Miss Brown or Mr. Sharman by Friday, September 5th. Are you a Prezi Pro? If you are a whiz at designing Prezi presentations, Miss Alvarez needs your skills to upgrade digital citizenship, dis, digital citizenship PowerPoint presentations into Prezi's. What's in it for you? A fine letter of recommendation from an articulate and graceful English teacher. Everyone knows English teachers write the best letters of recommendation. And if you're interested, please send her an email or stop by her classroom, Room 7, during office hours. The LVCP chapter of the California Federation Scholarship wants you. CSF is an honor society which distinguishes you at graduation, on your college applications, and job applications, and when applying for scholarships. On top of all this, you get an extra special shiny seal on your diploma. This application must be filled out at the start of every semester. It is simple and free, and can be found in a folder outside Mr. Sharman's room K3. Applications are filled out using your grades from last spring, so pick one up and turn in completed applications to Mr. Sharman by Friday, September 12th, and no transcripts are needed. Hello to those who like green. No, not money, plants. LVCP is starting up the garden club, and we have some plants for beautifying the campus. Please help out and deposit any empty plastic bottles with lids into the planner outside Mr. Warren's room in the grass quad area. After we fill this about halfway, we will get dirt and start planning. Thanks. This week in sports. Today there is a volleyball home game versus Mountain House. Thursday there will be a volleyball game in the Bentley High School at Lafayette. Attention this volleyball or for this football game for this Saturday has been rescheduled for Friday. Football will be playing Turlock Christian at Denaire High School football field. Kickoff is at 5 p.m. Friday is picture day, so wear your besties, everyone. You can pick up your picture forms with your Chromebooks today and tomorrow. And now on to some videos. How do I get in? Do I put my feet in first? Okay. Okay. I got this. I really hope this supports my weight. <laughs> okay. Let's hurry up before I go crashing down. <laughs> Here at LVCP, projects are split up into four different components. You're going to have your written component, your artistic component, tech component, and ah, your challenge component. So your written component is going to be maybe a poem, maybe some vignettes, and the prompt is going to be outlined by your teacher. So you won't have a lot of leeway in that aspect, but you'll have a lot of leeway in your artistic component. This is where you really get to do whatever you want. You could make a movie, you could build a sculpture, um, a painting, a costume, or some sort of digital art. This is really an opportunity to try something new or maybe do something you're good at and be able to show your teachers and your peers your talents. Um, here at the school you'll hear beautiful work. That term is pushed around a lot and it's kind of become a cliche but it's still really important because there's nothing better than having tangible evidence of something really cool that you worked really hard on. At the same time I love the terrible movie I made as a freshman. Why are they coming after us? Who are we exactly? Why is this happening to us? What have we done to deserve this? Where do we belong? I don't know. Let's go. I watch it sometimes, and it's so great to have created that work, 
I put a lot of work into it and even though now I think it's terrible because I can do so much better, it's great to have had that progress and to have something to look back on. You're also going to have a challenge component if you choose to complete one. Also if you are in an honors course then this is going to be required. A challenge component is often another artistic component, but it can be whatever you want. And then we're going to cover the technology component in our tech at LVCP video because it's just a lot of information. So that'll be a separate video. Most of these projects, you're going to have them in your English classes, but you'll also see projects in math, science, history, all sorts of classes because this is a project based learning school. Um, I also wanted to tell you about group work. If you think group work is hard, then you're right, but it's harder than you think it is. Uh, you'll get better at it over the years, and it really just does take practice. Try and be as understanding as you can, and try and be as good of a team member as you can, but I still want to acknowledge it's the most difficult part of doing a project, is working with other people. My advice is the first thing you should do when you get into your project group is create a Google document, share it with everybody, and on that document include the names, email addresses, and phone numbers of everyone in your group because inevitably there will be a filming day or there will be a presentation day where somebody isn't there or doesn't have the necessary materials and you will want to contact that person. Last thing is presentations. Before you present, make sure that the night before or even two nights before, you review your materials a couple times and make sure that everything is on your digital portfolio, everything is in your PowerPoint that needs to be there because there's nothing more embarrassing than getting up to play a video and then the video doesn't work in front of your whole class. So make sure that at least two people in your group have access to the final project. If at all possible, make your project on Google Documents so that everyone in the group has it shared with them. Because if one of your friends has the final product and then they don't show up to school, that's a zero on your presentation and you don't want everyone getting a zero because one person missed school one day. So that's my advice for projects. Such a great lunch, you guys. You guys are such a great Can I eat lunch with you guys? No, you fat little girl. Uh, Get yeah, out of here. You can't sit with us. Uh. Sorry. Can I so eat lunch with you guys? Sure. Well, yes. Yeah, Take totally. A Take a seat. Thank How you. are you, buddy? I'm good. That's great. Glad Check out my Insta book. Oh my god. Look at my so Facebook. Cool. Oh, Have you seen my face face? Have you seen my Twitter? Follow me on Twitter. Okay. Let's go. Today in advisory, all grades will be having a welcome activity with their advisor. Make it a good day, Hawks.